In this module, we will look at the system architecture of the program execution and briefly mention some of the communication interfaces for communication with the robot. The goal is to provide an overview of the different components within an application, whether it is nodes, UR script, or UR caps, and how they interact when the program is running. You should be familiar with the nodes, assuming you have worked with a UR robot before. This is the standard way of programming the robot, available directly in the Polyscope GUI. UR script should also ring a bell, perhaps from the previous video. UR script is a way to increase the capability of the robots, as it can be used to extend what the robot can do, but you will have to do it manually. Another, perhaps more simple way to add capabilities to the robot is with UR caps. UR caps are software plugins that add functionality to the robot, similar to an app for your phone. These are typically provided by hardware suppliers to interact with their equipment directly from the robot. All three options, Node, UR Script, and UR Caps, are ways to make the robot perform tasks, whether it is moving the joints of the robot, detecting parts, or something else. Let's start with the nodes and program tree in Polyscope, as you probably already is familiar with those parts. Polyscope is the graphical user interface, or GUI for short. This is what you see when you look at the teach pendant of the robots. The nodes live in the program tree in the GUI and is what your program typically consists of. Let's start with a walkthrough of the nodes and the program tree, as it will provide the basis for the more advanced UR caps we will cover in a few minutes. If we use the program here, for the simple sorting application that transfers boxes between conveyors, it consists of several nodes each added to the program by finding and clicking the functionality we needed. For instance, we needed to wait for a box to be present before we picked it up, so we made the wait statement like this. First, we found the wait function in the basic menu and clicked it. This will insert a wait node in the program tree after the marked line and open the command page of the wait node. On the command page, it is possible to configure the node, and in our case, we needed to wait for a digital input to become high. That is, a box is present on the conveyor, ready for pickup. There is only one wait function in the basic menu, and every time a node is inserted, the same command page is shown. However, once the command is configured, that information is saved to the node, and different wait nodes can be configured differently. If we had clicked a different function, a move, for instance, it would have inserted multiple lines in the program tree, here a move J and a waypoint. In the move J, we will be able to control how we move between the waypoints below. And if we click the waypoint, we can configure the waypoint, override functionality, or even add extra nodes to the program tree by clicking the add until, followed by extra instructions. Whatever is clicked is reflected in the program tree. So just to sum up, the menus provide functions that insert one or several nodes in the program tree, which then can be configured in the command page and all is saved as part of the program for this application. Now, if you are familiar with how software normally executes, it's usually some line-by-line -line program where functions are called with or without parameters, and that is also what the UR robot does. This is where UR script comes into the picture. UR script is what runs the robot. As mentioned in the previous video, the entire node tree, including the installation, is converted into UR script the moment you save the program or play is pressed. That is, the node from the program tree, including the selected settings from the command panel is converted into one or several lines of UR script. It works like this. First, the installation settings are converted to UR script. This is all the information from the installation page in the polyscope that only needs to be initialized once and not on every run cycle of the program. That is, all configuration values, such as the gravity direction, which refers to the mounting of the robot, TCP information, installation variables, what equipment is attached, and so on. One more thing here is that all poses that we use in the program are written in this section of the UR script so that they are available within the program. That is because we can use and manipulate poses within the program, so we need them to exist before we do so. Then the before start section of the program 
also holds information that should be initialized before the actual program starts running. The difference between the installation and the before start section might seem small, but one contains information tied to the physical installation and equipment, whereas the other has program variables tied to it, which usually refers to the current application. If there are any threads or subprograms used in the main program, then they are converted. Again, because we need to know what a function does before we can call it. Finally, the main program is converted to UR script and can be found at the line starting with a dollar sign and a line number, followed by robot program. If the checkbox, program loops forever, is checked, it will be a while true loop. Otherwise, it will just be a single execution and then the program ends. Once everything is converted, it will be collected into a UR script file with the program name, followed by the extension script. When play is pressed, Polyscope sends the UR script file to the UR control using the primary client interface on port 30001. UR control will load the entire UR script file and execute it line by line. The UR control is what will be operating the robot, and it constantly sends robot statuses back to the Polyscope so that it is possible to monitor program execution in the GUI, but Polyscope is no longer sending UR script to the robot. So once the program is started, Polyscope can only view the running program, and of course, stop it if necessary. And then there are some modifications to that truth, which is where the UR caps come in. As mentioned at the beginning, the UR caps can add functionality to the robot. This can be all sorts of functionality, from adding easy control of a gripper to setting up remote monitoring of the robot, or adding some other kind of functionality. Once a UR cap is installed, it will be shown as a node in the installation tab at the very bottom where UR cap is written. This is normally contributing to the installation part at the beginning of the UR script file. Then a UR cap can add nodes to the program menu that can be used to build the program tree, and these nodes can contain several lines of UR script once converted. For instance, a gripper node might in a single grip node be able to start the gripping process of the tool, wait for the gripping process to complete, set a variable based on the successful gripping of a part. And it can be even more complex than this. It can even start what is known as daemon processes which run in the background on the UR control and offer advanced services. It can be seen as a parallel process running in the background which the UR script can access by interfaces such as XML, RPC, or TCP sockets. For instance, a daemon provided by the UR cap of a gripper could offer the service to interrupt the program if a workpiece is dropped by the gripper. So just to recap the architecture of the system. The polyscope is the programming interface of the robot where the installation and program nodes are used to build a program. The UR caps can add functionality to the robot similar to the normal installation and program nodes, but with new functionality. Everything is converted to UR script and sent to UR control, which then executes the UR script program line by line, with the option to call these parallel process daemon services created by the UR cap. If you want to know more about UR caps and how they are developed, there are several articles available on our website. You can find some links in the description below.